Now, Reflect is currently installed through a special version of the Unity Hub called the Industrial Hub. And you can see here, looking at mine, that it says Unity Hub and then the Industrial version. And that hub under the Installs has an extra tab called Reflect Applications. So when you run the installation for this hub, two things will be installed. One is this special Industrial Hub, which can run next to your standard Unity Hub if you want. Or you can use only this one. It has all of the same properties that you would find in the standard Unity Hub. And the other thing that's installed is the Reflect Viewer. So if I look at Reflect, if I search for that, you will see that the Reflect Viewer is also installed onto my machine. Now Reflect Viewer comes in versions for most operating systems. There's also mobile apps, both for iOS and Android available now. And we will have a look at that shortly so you understand what it is and how it relates to all of the different parts of Reflect. So once the Industrial Hub is installed, you can go to the Installs option, go to the Reflect Applications tab, and then you can Locate. Now, Locate allows you to locate all of the applications that you can install or use Reflect on. Currently, this is only Revit and SketchUp, but by the end of this month, Navis Work should also be available. In my case, I'm a Revit user, so after using Locate, it found Revit on my machine and at that point, you can click on these three dots at the top right, and you would have the option to install the plugin. Obviously, mine's already done, so mine just says uninstall. But by clicking that, it will install the Reflect plugin into that specific application. So that's how you get Unity into your design application. When you open that application, you will find that there's, in Revit example, there's a new tab called Unity, and my options are now there. Under this tab, I have the Start option, and if I select that, this will start the Unity server. Now, the Unity server is a local server or local application that takes care of all of the heavy lifting on Unity. As I mentioned before, models coming from these types of applications are typically quite geometry heavy and not really optimized for real-time use. So the server will take care of all the exporting. And if we use this as a mobile application or as a runtime model, as you will see shortly, then the server will take care of all of the background calculations. So let's start a new project. I'm going to click here on new project. We will call this webinar sample. I'm going to select my organization there and create. Now you'll see here that the sync server is, is set to local. Currently, these servers can only run on site, but the next phase of Reflect will be to have this running as a cloud server, meaning you can have your clients open your projects that you share with them from anywhere in the world. So at the moment, everyone who wants access to that project must be on the same network for this to work. So let's export that. If you run into problems here, it's usually because you're not in a 3D view, but it will prompt you to say, just switch to a 3D view before exporting. Okay, so that is done. And let's open this on the Reflect Viewer that was also installed on my machine. So if I open the Viewer, it's picking up my sign-in. Let's refresh. You can see that it picked up my account that I was signed into. And it was also, you can see it also picks up all of the projects that have been exported to that account. So here's that webinar sample. And if I open this, it will download that project into the Reflect Viewer. And there we go. The next lesson, we'll have a look at how do you use this viewer.